Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Avery and today I'm going to be talking about all of the ebooks that I downloaded for free in May. Baby, baby. So let's dive right on into these books. At the time I downloaded all of these for free. I'll let you know if they're currently still free or if you can download them on Kindle Unlimited once we get to them. First, I have Blind Alpha by Charlotte Michelle. This is on Kindle Unlimited or you can purchase it for $5.31. Every decision has a corresponding consequence. However, in this case, it was a costly and deadly consequence. At the age of 16, Landon becomes the Alpha of Shadow Pack after a battle killed his father, destroying his pack and cost him his eyesight. Being blind proves to be difficult for someone who should exude authority and take care of his territory. As a result, Landon has grown frustrated, cold, and angry. Escaping her abusive pack, Lana stumbles accidentally into Shadow Pack. She has heard everything about this pack. She knows about its alpha. She knows that he's cruel and ruthless. And she knows for sure that she'll die upon stepping on the pack's territory. However, there is one thing she still has to discover. Lana and Landon are mates, yet meeting each other is just the start of their story since a pack is eyeing Lana for vengeance. Now both of them have to make a sacrifice for the sake of their pack safety. Next is Author Seeking Mountain Man by Marley Michaels. This is available off of Kins Unlimited or you can purchase it for 99 cents. When romance author Aster Hollingsworth takes a long needed break in search of inspiration, she finds her Alaskan mountain getaway cut abruptly short when a tree meets the front of her rental car during a freak storm. Stuck in the middle of nowhere, Aster needs more than a mere riding retreat. She needs help and fast. Lucky for Aster, a mountain man in warm plaid comes to her rescue and inspires her more than any time riding alone ever could. Lucky for Greg Cooper, this gorgeous wordsmith who blurts out whatever she's thinking and intrigues him to no end, might be exactly the kind of woman he's always wanted. Next is This Is War by Kennedy Fox. This is still available to download for free. Travis King is the worst kind of a-hole. He taunts me for being a good girl and mocks my high standards. He's cruel, crass, and has enough confidence to last two lifetimes and I hate him. It wouldn't matter so much if he were avoidable, but considering he's my older brother's best friend and roommate, I see him more than I'd ever want to. His sculpted abs and gorgeous eyes are wasted on such an arrogant man, which makes me hate him even more. Even though I've had a crush on him ever since I was 10, the feelings weren't mutual and he's made that very clear. He's always loved getting under my skin and one night against my better judgment, I let him in my bed. The king is about to get played at his own game and lose, checkmate. King. Next is Not You, It's Me by Julie Johnson. This is available to purchase for $4.99. Gemma Summers is Unlucky in Love. She's known it since third grade when her first crush blew a spitball into her hair. Boring guys and abysmal morning afters has nothing to improve her prospects. When a random radio contest lands her courtside tickets to the hottest playoff game of the season, Gemma thinks her luck may finally be on the upswing, at least until the dreaded Jumbotron kiss cam lands on her and her date, who's too busy ignoring her to notice. Thankfully, the stranger sitting next to her is more than willing to step in. One kiss, two strangers, no strings attached. Or so she thinks, turns out kissing Chase Croft Boston's most eligible bachelor may be enough to convince even a girl who's given up on love to let down her guard one last time. I then have Drive Me Wild by Melanie Harlow. This is available off of Kindle Unlimited or you can purchase it for $4.99. When Blair Beauford literally crashes into Bellamy Creek wearing a ball gown and a tiara, I should have towed her car, said goodnight, and sent her packing. I'm a mechanic, not a hotel manager. I've got enough on my plate trying to keep my shop from going under, my overbearing mother off my back and my baseball team in contention for the league championship. I don't have time for a former debutante with zero street smarts and a cash flow problem, even if she's crazy beautiful. Problem is she's stranded in my small town and I'm hiding a protective streak underneath my broody exterior that runs deep. So I offer her a place to stay and keep my hands to myself for exactly one night. If only she weren't so gorgeous, so funny, so eager to please. She's a disaster behind the wheel, but she drives me crazy without even trying. At work, at home, in the back of my truck, I can't get enough of the way that she makes me feel, but I know better than to think it will last. She wants a fairy tale and I'm no prince. So when it comes time for her to leave, there's nothing I can do but let her go no matter how much it hurts to say goodbye. I then have Savage Hunger by Lisa Renee Jones. This is still available to download for free. Rick Savage, 
They call him Savage and for a reason. He can make you laugh and then rip your heart out. No one knows that more than me. Candace Marks, the woman he left bleeding from the heart. I loved him, Lord help me. I've never stopped loving him. Now I'm engaged to another man, a brutal man I've tra I'm trapped into marrying. When, to my shock, Savage returns home. Savage who I haven't heard from in years. I want to hate him. I have every reason to hate him, but I can't. I still love him. I fear he will save me just to leave me bleeding one last time. He stirs my desires, a dark, delicious, and dangerous man destined to hurt me and leave me. This time, I'm not sure I'll survive. I then have Dark House by Karina Halley. This is still available to download for free. Harry Palomino seems like your average 20-something girl on the surface. She has better luck dating, her job sucks, and she's delusioned by her place in life. Not sure exactly what she wants, or where she's even going. She also sees ghosts, which makes it things extra complicated, especially when she'd do anything to be normal. But normal people don't go exploring an abandoned and supposedly haunted lighthouse on the Oregon coast, where she ends up getting the attention of Dex For Foray, an animatic producer who wants to exploit her talent for seeing the dead on his web series. At first, Perry's not sure she wants to work with Dex on his amateur ghost hunting show. He's cocky, sarcastic, mysterious, and perhaps a little disturbed, not to mention aggressively sexy. But the more Perry works alongside Dex, her sanity tested at every turn, the more she realizes that falling for this man might just be the scariest thing of all. I then have Dealing with the Duchess by J.R. Salisbury. This is available off of Kindle Unlimited or you can purchase it for $3.99. The Duchess of Bentley is just out of mourning. As a widow, she has certain freedoms other women do not, but she has neither the time nor inclination to look for dalliance. She's much too busy overseeing the very special properties left to her by the late Duke, including the elite gaming hell known as Dante's Inferno, until another nobleman returns to London and reminds her that she is still a young, passionate woman. The Duke of Evermont has returned from the Caribbean. His life is full, running his estates and saying to his investments. The last thing he is searching for is a wife. That is until he sees Eleanor again and the other society beauties fade in comparison. The last time he saw her, Eleanor was walking down the aisle to another man. This time, Evermont is determined to not let the beautiful and vibrant lady slip through his hands. Fortunately for him, the Duchess turns to him for help, and he's more than willing to sweep her under his du ducal cloak for protection. Whether his assistance is required in shielding her from the members of society, foolish enough to gamble away their fortunes, or the heartless schemes of her own father, Evermont will do what it takes to show their, her their future together is a sure thing. Then I downloaded Dead of the Night by Emily Goodwin. This is still available to download for free. Never trust a vampire. I might have learned that lesson the hard way, but when I find myself in a vampire-owned bar, I don't have much of a choice. With a vampire still trying to assimilate into mainstream society, I've done Lucas King a favor by stopping one of his patrons from draining a human dry in the basement of his bar, a favor he'd prefer to repay in bed than in kind. Vampires and witches have had no more than a jaded history, and when witches start showing up dead in surrounding covens, all signs point to something old and powerful, something that knows the ways of the witches, something or someone like Lucas. What's worse than trusting a vampire? Falling in love with one. I then have Lonin's War by Jeff Kennedy. This is still available to download for free. Alone in her tower, Princess Aurea has spent too long studying her people's barbarian enemies, the Distri and neglected the search for calm that will control her magic and release her to society. Her relentlessness makes meditation hopeless and her fragility renders human companionship unbearable. Aurea is near giving up. Then the Destry attack and her people's lives depend on her handling of their prince. When the cornered Destry decide to strike back, Lona never thought that he'd live through the battle, let alone demand justice as a conqueror. And yet he must keep his guard against the sorceress who speaks for the city. Aurea's people are devious her claims of ignorance absurd. The frank honesty of her eyes promise could be just one more layer of deception. Fighting for time and trust, Orion and Lonin have one final sacrifice to choose before an, before an even greater threat consumes them all. Then I have Killer Love by Tabitha Drake. This is still available to download for free. We don't belong together. I'm betrothed, promised to his enemy. But Luca Latrova doesn't look at me like I'm someone else's bride. He looks at me like I'm his. That's how I knew he could help me escape from the mafia family who claimed me, the evil and notorious Zappia cult. What I didn't know was what he would expect of me in return. From one prison to another, I would never not be a killer's bride. But Luca's touch is hard to resist. 
He's firm and possessive, but safe. Our son and I would have a home with the Luchstrovas, a better life, but the Zapias will never let us go, not without war and bloodshed. Luca will do anything to make me his bride, and I will do anything to be his. I then have The Match by Sarah Adams. This is available off of Kindle Unlimited, or you can purchase it for $3.99. Having worked for Southern Service Paws for a few years now, I like to think I'm prepared for just about any client meeting under the sun. I am dead wrong. The day I meet with single dad, Jacob Broden, I'm potentially matching his daughter with one of our service dogs. I learned a few valuable lessons. One, always set my alarm clock. Two, single dads are way hotter than I previously thought. And three, is it possible to go from fantasizing about kissing someone to wishing they would be run over by a truck in a matter of two minutes? Unfortunately, I don't hold that opinion for, of him for very long, not when he shows me a different side of himself, one that's sweet as maple syrup and as hot as apple pie fresh out of the oven. Too bad this guy is just so far out of my league that I shouldn't even be allowed to enter the game. Jake doesn't seem to get that memo though. And after a few days of working closely with him and his daughter, he starts looking at me with fire in his eyes making me dream of something I probably shouldn't a family I next have a box set we have the Kraken series box set books one through three by Tiffany Roberts I have already read book number one this is a Kraken romance series I mainly got this because I wanted to have books two and three and the box set was free one day so I got the next two for free. I then have The Mountain Man's Temptation by Felicity Rain. This is still available to download for free. I never forgot her, sweet little Katie Baxter, beautiful, innocent, completely off limits, or she used to be eight years ago. I was twice her age then, old enough to know better than to fall in love with a teenager, but knowing she was unavoidable, but loving her was unavoidable, raw, real, all too right to be so wrong. Cutting myself off from the world and leaving my life behind was the only way to leave her untouched. That's why I live the way I do now, secluded in the mountains, more hardening with each passing year, perpetually alone, tormented by memories, but free of temptation until the night she gets lost in the wild and ends up on my doorstep. Next, I have Apex by Jen Baldwin. This is available on Kindle Unlimited or you can purchase it for $4.99. Chloe Larkin, soon to be Harvard Business School graduate, was about to be screwed. The company she and her best friend had built from the ground up for the past six years was about to dissolve and she had no job lined up after business school and a mountain of debt waiting. That was until she was given one last opportunity to pitch closet connections to one of the most successful companies in the country, Apex Investing. Chloe found herself sitting across the handsome, domineering Sebastian Avery, one third of Apex's partnership team. Sebastian Avery likes control and ran his company and his submissives with a firm hand. His seductive contract left Chloe both indecisive and surprisingly attracted to the controlling nature. Does Chloe have what it takes to go head to head professionally and personally with one of the country's most formidable opponents? And lastly, I have Etiquette with the Devil by Rebecca Paula. This is still available to download for free. Clara Dawson always followed the rules until one terrifying night when her inheritance is stolen and the man responsible is left for dead. Desperate to outrun her troubles, she accepts a governess position at the crumbling gothic manor of the mysterious Ravensdale family. Caring for the three orphan children gives her purpose, but her vulgar employer, Bly Ravensdale, holds dangerous secrets that may shatter Clara's newfound safe haven. Yet the stubborn brute compels Clara to abandon her etiquette at every turn and she can't stay away. Disowned by his family, Bly Ravensdale travels the globe as an explorer and an agent of the British crown until his brother's passing leaves him saddled with three young wards. Charged with returning them to the family's vacant ancestral seat in the English countryside, the one place he wishes to avoid at all costs, Bly quits the role of spy to play family man. But a man nicknamed Devil rarely gets a clean start in life even with the aid of the prudishly yet lovely governess Clara. Despite her cold exterior, Bly finds himself drawn to her, even as an enemy from his deadly past resurfaces seeking vengeance. Can he protect all that he's suddenly come to hold dear? So there you have it. Those are all the eBooks that I ended up downloading in May for free. Please let me know down below if you have read any of these books or if you plan to. But anyways, thank you all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.